Well, good morning, church. I hope that you are having a good start to your Monday morning. As is our habit on Monday mornings, I try to just build a little bit on something I shared yesterday. We talked about repentance. And a very important point near the end of the message I just briefly touched on is the fact that God grants repentance. It's not something that we drum up. We learned that repentance is where you change your mind so deeply that it changes the direction of your life, where you're going one direction and you turn to going another direction. We talked about how confession and saying I'm sorry is a great starting point. But uh, repentance is that place where we, yes, we confess and we admit to God what we did was wrong. We receive his forgiveness. But repentance is that next step where transformation takes place, where I go, God, change my heart. We learned in Psalm 51 that God doesn't despise a broken, contrite, repentant heart. See, in the Old Testament, when they confessed their sins, they would make a sacrifice and they would go put their hands on their sacrifice and confess their sins. But in Psalm 51, David is saying, God, you're not just looking for sacrifice. You're not just looking for us to come make a sacrifice, put our hands on it and confess it. What God's really looking for is a person to come make their sacrifice, put their hands on it and confess it, and their heart to be broken and contrite over what they did. How do we get there? How do I get that way about the sins of my life? Well, I want to share with you this morning this. Repentance is something that God grants. It's a gift of his grace. In Acts chapter 11, when Peter came and reported to in Jerusalem to the rest what God had done among the Gentiles, and they were wrestling with this point, I love their response to what Peter shared. Listen to this in verse 17. Therefore, if God gave to them the same gift as he gave to us also, after believing in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I that I could stand in God's way? This was what Peter said then. They said, when they heard this, they quieted down and glorified God saying, well then, God has granted to the Gentiles also the repentance that leads to life. God granted them repentance. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, uh, when he's speaking about being a vessel of God that can be used by him in a powerful way, he says this in verse 24, the Lord's bondservant must not be quarrelsome, but be kind to all, able to teach, patient when wronged, with gentleness, correcting those who are in opposition. If perhaps God may grant them repentance, leading to the knowledge of the truth, and they may come to their senses and escape from the snare of the devil, having been held captive by him to do his will. God grants repentance. And you know, so many of us approach this uh, when we're even speaking to non-believers, uh, like almost, you need to repent, and we're like, we're putting it on them. No, you know, as we, as we lovingly share the gospel with them, God grants them repentance. They change their mind about themselves and about their sin and about Jesus and how to approach him. God grants that to them. And when God grants them to repentance, they, their lives are changed or set free from the bonds of the devil. And so repentance is something that God grants as we share the gospel with the lost. It's something that God gives us as a grace, a, a grace gift to those of us that are believers. As we continue to struggle with our sins and as we come and confess to God our sins, my encouragement to you this morning is this. Seek God to give you the grace to repent of your sins 
so that you see your sin in such a new light that it changes the way that you approach it as we saw in 2 Corinthians chapter 7 as he was speaking to the believer about the repentance that's according to God. God grants a repentance. He grants a change of heart that changes our attitude and our actions and our thinking about our sin. So I just wanted to share that with you this morning. Um, so many people, you need to repent or, you know, we're, we're going, okay, I'm, I'm trying. No, what we need to do is get on our face before God and say, God, you need to change my heart. That's what repentance is. You need to change the way I think about this. You need to change the direction of my life. So brothers and sisters, as we walk through life and we all struggle with sins in different ways and different degrees, our great need, even as believers, is not just to confess our sins to experience forgiveness, but to seek God for his grace of repentance so we can be changed at the core of our being. Love you guys. Let me close this in prayer. Father, I pray today that you would help us understand and see that repentance is a gift that you grant rather than something we drum up. And Lord, might we understand that for others and that we might not beat them up with their need to repent. But God, we would share the good news of Jesus Christ with people. And as we do that, you would grant them repentance. Lord, I thank you did that in my life. You did it for me to be saved. And you did it for me many times as a believer. I, I need you to continue to do that. And I pray for my brothers and sisters today who need you to grant them the grace of repentance. I ask you to do that in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good day, church.